Je mâche tenchi. Well, it's because it crashed last time, so hopefully that won't happen again. We'll see. Did. Let's just make sure that the audio was working. Oh, hello, Corinth. How are you doing? I am continuing from when the game crashed a couple of days ago over in Liurnia. How are you doing? It's good to see you. But, oh, right, and it crashed around here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hmm. So I went up to that tower, and then the game crashed because of driver issues, so I'm going to try to avoid letting that happen again. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Funky. Let's- Oh my goodness! Wow. That seems like time for magic fortification. Oh, nice! So what's happened since last time? That was more than a little embarrassing. Well, I don't have... I'm going back to the stake instead of the grays. I can't switch out my spells at the moment. Hmm. I think that just running in on the horse is going to do me better. Yeah, yeah. Speed is crucial. And just a golden rune, and then we go up the highway lookout tower, and oh, that sucks. What ended up happening? Are you. It, it, did everything end up alright at least? Or. I hope. Okay, so when I kill this guy, are all the others gonna disappear, or. something down there? Just wonder what's up with. all these projections. Okay, cool. Ooh, alright, that did not kill. Well, that... Yeah, the fall damage killed. A Karian Glint Blade Staff. That... Let me see. Huh? Let me just... Wait, huh? Details. Oh, I turned that off somehow. It says Glint Blade Sorcery is one of two types of Karian Staff. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, did anything bad happen in your absence or impure crystal? Golem crafter, similar crystal tool, which is why they can make golems malfunction. Okay. As long as the DM is acting in good faith, I don't imagine that could lead to too many issues. And then, Gwinston Crescent's cookbook, and that... Of sorcery is an albinoric pot. That's only really. That could be somewhat useful. Fighting NPC invaders. Hmm. Well, let's keep on going. And, okay, this is still more than good enough, even if. Ooh, okay. Probably still want to use Bloodhound Fang. If they don't have any armor, then slashing damage is going to be the way about it. Come on, come on, and... Hmm, okay. So get my distance. There should be... The noise is alarming. So once I get rid of all of these guys, that'll... Well, I'll see you once I get a flask refill. That'll tell me that all of them are dead and... Oh, okay, alright. Thanks. That should be it. And was that not it? That was somewhat alarming. So there should be another, maybe? I know that there isn't much here, but I'd like to get rid of everyone in the area for the sake of thoroughness. And... Yeah, because I killed the sorcerer up top. Killed all those projections, but I guess it's possible that projections didn't really quote-unquote count. Hmm. Either way, highlight one. Oh wait, Lookout Tower seems to be kind of a strange place. Okay. Let's check around, around these Carrion Emblem tents. And city Guard imprisoned. I hope that wasn't done as just punishment for you not showing up. But, half of me wonders if it was because... It was a somewhat convenient way to make it so that the DM didn't have to run another character. You know, they write you out, quote-unquote, for a session, and then, you know, get a hook for the next one. Okay, let's just go down here. High tower of the bridge. Both sides. So, what kind of conflict is going to come out of being imprisoned between them? Does it mean you're going to have to negotiate with both sides to get you free because of being in sort of a no-man's land? 
Oh, and they let you summon spirits here. This is the big group of enemies there. That makes sense. Now we have... I guess we could fight these wolves. Cool. Ooh, interesting. Alright. Hmm. Oh, come on. The jump attacks! Jump attacks do not hit wolves well. Okay, and can I slam... Oh, and there is another wolf. Okay. Hmm, the white wolves are much more... Well, we can just take you out with one final glintstone shard. Beast blood. And, okay, more wolves. Alright, I did not see these guys coming. And slam down on you. Jump over, and yeah, that one had golden eyes as well. Got a flash back from that, and that statue sent me down to the cliff bottom catacombs over there, so that's not anything new. Hmm. How much do I need from the next level? A decent amount. Hmm. Yeah. The scar seals are very nice to have, especially this early on, but eventually I'm definitely going to want to focus on the more normal stat-boosting talismans, because of the diminishing returns and the fact that taking more damage is eventually going to be a really, really bad drawback for having those talismans equipped. Big thing is, I need... Faith would be nice to do stuff like Giant's Flame, but... I'm going to need time to actually use it. Because I was going to try to use it on an Urgery Avatar. And there will be another one up here, but to get that used, I would need a bit more. Maybe the use of a Great Rune. That's an idea. Okay. Surprisingly bulky for a wolf. Huh. This normal wildlife is also... And... I don't even know if that was a successful jump attack. Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright. Hmm. Maybe if I... Hmm. Flame of Frenzy is not going to... Message of Praise. You know what? Maybe we just try... Black Flame on this thing. Hmm. It's not as strong as I would have liked. Okay, cool. One... So, Bloodhound's Fang is still absolutely on top. Anything else over here? I know that Jarberg is around this way, but trying to escape. Oh, it's Esquet. Smart, smart. Yeah, because you're in that no man's land. Well, I guess the question is the opposite of what you're supposed to, according to who. I wonder. To what extent your DM expect you to just try to escape versus negotiate, or if they even had a specific action in mind. Oh, so did they kind of suggest something and you said, no, I've got a better idea. Fair enough. Hmm. Let's keep on moving, and okay, more root resin, but I'm not really using greases anymore. Now that I've got access to Blood Flame Blade... And if I go a bit farther north, I should actually be able to get access to Lightning Spear soon. The big thing, though, is that there aren't a lot of things that are actually weak to Lightning. The only thing I can really think of is actually Horolu second phase. Hmm. Which is, of course, a long, long way off. That said, I don't know what the weaknesses of DLC enemies are quite yet. That might make a difference. People were saying that the DLC might make damage types like magic that tend to be kind of worse in the base game veteran. Oh, it's a death blight crab. Oh, that's fun. Dodge and slam. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, cool. And just break. Oh my goodness. Okay, can I? There we go. It's almost dead anyway, but it's fun to get the critical off. Okay, cool. And no health flash regen? That was interesting. Time for crab. Yeah, time for death blight crab. Should probably clear out a 
bit of my inventory. Let's see. As in, in terms of weapons, I've got so many things in there that's making it harder to find what I actually want when I want to equip it. And okay, there's another astrolabe here. Starlight shards, stars, except likely too high up. Yeah. So anything else over this way? It is, it is interesting to me that I didn't get anything from killing that crab. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Think, as long as it works out, that could be a lot of fun. Okay, and two. And, well, it fell down. Will that work? Well, I... Yeah, it worked! So as long as it dies, no matter how far or close, you'll get it back. That's nice. So I didn't have to worry about losing it just because it fell off. And this is... Let's see. This one. Hello. I've got one, two, three, four, and... This is... Excuse me? Oh, it must have been a Cerulean Tears one. Okay. Now I see. Then, oh, a Mariner. Okay. In that case, I guess, gotta find a Grace. Actually, this Grace over here would be just fine. So what I should do is put Sacred Blade back on my funny Great Club. Then, go in and bash that Mariner to death. Apparently this is actually better than Brickhammer. At least in terms of base of damage. And given that my strength is not all that high, I think that will work just fine with me. Take a sacred, and... Let me see. This should be... A good way to take that Mariner down. Ideally. We'll get another death root, and I think we could get something good from Garonk now. We'll see. This Mariner is just over here, and oh, wolves. Fun. Well, they didn't see me. The question is, what's all going to be over here? Other than the Mariner, the beast eye quivers, because this Mariner will drop some death root for me. So this is actual fight. Let's boost my faith and strength with my flask, and come on. Oh, you are strong. And over there, interesting. Let's just boost up, and can we slam, 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 slam. Oh, nice. And hmm. Interesting. And oh, wow, that actually hit me. I did not expect that to hit me. And what are you going to use now? Oh, I, okay. Hmm. Slam. 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 And, okay. Don't, ooh, that was dangerous and narrow. I, okay. Cool. And, oh, well, they hit their own brethren. And, one, two, there we go. And, gold pickle. Cool. And me fell. That will be bit more of that. We got a death root and the skeletal bandit ashes. That's new. Oh, bandit. Skeletal bandit. This bandit goes in death. Continue to rise again until properly finished up. After the night of the plot, death root appeared in the lands between those who live in death soon followed. And that, well, for one, we go to go back to Garonk now. But those skeletal bandits actually fight pretty similar to the black skeletons from Demon Souls, you know, two scimitared skeletons, which don't really have an equivalent in the rest of... Soul series before now. I am not sated. Mm. Okay. Special Vitality. Ooh, that's a good one. One of the best healing spells in the game, the most efficient for FP cost. 
over a period of time, vegetable vigor restoring HP, having gained intelligence. Beasts must have felt how their wildness slipped away and civilization took hold. Barely any kind of faith requirement. Okay. In that case, maybe I... Hmm. What and where? This would be good against... Revenants, which are decently common, so I think I'll switch Bestial Vitality in now. Should be okay. In case I need an actual heal, and then just go past here and then get inside the Korean study hall down here. But this shack, I know that the artist shack is somewhere in northern Lyrnia. Might be. Maybe over here. I don't know. The big thing is that there's a Landale Knight that drops the Dragon Cult prayer book. And that would be nice as a way to finally get access to lightning damage, although it would not be good against all that many things. So let's level up real quick. And what do I want to strengthen right now? Maybe I'll level my faith. Hmm. That should be good. What do I need for Giant's Flame again? Go to my incantations. Giant's Flame takes 41. So I need Faith Tier and then maybe Flock Talisman and a Great Rune. Already got Merica Seal on here though. Holy Crusaders, two Paladins, two, five level 10 Champions, 10 Crusader Footmen. Crusader? How? What is a Crusader mechanically? in this campaign. Is that a fighter subclass? Maybe, uh, it's been some time. And let's put on stamp uppercut. That should be good. And probably switch back to Bloodhound Fang. Alright. Really want them to give me a level 3 somber stone. That would be great. Hmm. And, okay, can I... Ooh, please. One, two. You have got to be kidding. And, slam, slash, and... Ah. Range is good. Oh, okay. So they're just human enemies. I just remember when... It was some time ago where Mike Murals tried to put together quote-unquote... Companion-only classes were basically mob NPCs to help you out. And one of the funny things about it is that... It reminded me... I forget whether it was the case here, but back in 3.5, I remember reading, they tried to do something similar. And a lot of them ended up being better than the fighter. Even though they were meant to suck, just because they had actual access to any kind of spellcasting. Makes sense. And... Come on, wolf. And, okay, ooh, how did that miss? Annoying. And, the range on this thing is really, really good. Nice. And just intercept the charge. Bin beast bones. And this is where I was going up, so. Gotta poke around the area, see if there might be. I don't think there are any skeletons here now. Maybe. This is... Oh, there was something here in that... Okay, Atrina's lily on a body. That's interesting, considering that... You know, they're rare drops other places, too, but they were just... Plants to pick up in the open world, not... Things you pick up off a body. I wonder what that was meant to suggest. Just... Why someone would bring one here and... Got some funky death root. Having spread throughout after... Godwin's assassination. Hmm. And that down there, I believe, is a Charberg, but can't just drop down there. Is it always jumping off? Yeah, there's no sight of... No, no spirit spring down there, so there wouldn't be anything to break my fall. Oh, well, I should probably. This is a starlight opportunity. <laughs> for the interest of getting a bit more light up in here. Hmm. So what else? What else is over here? There was 
this over this way, but I think I already went on top of that. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Check this out. And cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Then we have... Oh, that Wayne Dell Knight over there, I think, is the one. The one that I need to take out using. Come on. Goodness. And, okay. Oh, please. I need more Crimson Tears. And just slam. 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 That one's dead, but... Can I? Thank you. Hmm. Maybe if I wanted to be funny, I could even put Blood Flame Blade on. That's cool. Yeah, that's definitely overkill, but whatever. And can I... Want, or if it doesn't hit, well, can't do anything about that, huh? One, two, three. Is that... Hmm. Isn't really increasing the damage all that much, but... Really? Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, pretty annoying. Maybe I really should just be using some kind of fire and camp on them. It's an idea. But with that Wayne Dell Knight over there, that is going to be piercing fodder. It's got a spam impaling thrust. Maybe with Blood Flame on here too. And we'll get a Dragon Prayer book and be able to actually get Lightning Spear off. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. And, well, never mind. Did not mean to do it like that. And, okay. Oh, a guard counter. It's not expecting that one. And, okay. Ooh, interesting. Thanks. And, all right. Stab again and finish off. Thank you. Cool. That, I missed that one. Opportunity, but, yep, Dragon Cult Prayer Book. That is Prayer Book of the Ancient Capitals, Chapels of Ancient Dragon Cult, Arose After the War of the Ancient Dragons, Falling Incantations, Lightning Spear, Own Bolt, and Electrify Firmament. Those, that said, Bell Bearing Hunters are weak to, oh, hello. Mmm, but I don't have any good source of holy right now, is the thing. Let me switch something back in. Do I, I don't have anything I can wield at the moment that has made holy damage to my memory, which is not good right now. Oh, come on. This litany of proper death is weaker against these guys than I might like. And, oh, come on. Uh, maybe I should honestly just keep Sacred Blade on here semi-permanently. It's an idea. Come on up. Kill. Kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Sacred Blade on here, just Holy Infusion in general, trivializes these guys, but it's, I don't have any really good Holy Spells. Let me a proper death is a joke. And... Actually, once I get Golden Order Seal, it'll get better, but it'll be a while until I go to Altus, and after that point, skeletons won't really be a problem to begin with. Bone Shard, and... It was all over here. Right, the Karian Study helped me get down there. I'd have to drop. Jumping required ahead? That is not true. That is the opposite of true. But... Should be able to get... Some stuff from Preceptor Miriam, I presume, in the study hall. Also, I should probably try to buy some of the spells from Corin now. This. Let me see. Precious item ahead, yeah. And a lightning, oh lightning. Let down your hair. It is gold. So, in that case. Is there going to be a... There is a grace over here. That's nice. And just go and go back. And this is... Ryokaria from... Gravestone. Resurrection painting. That... Resurrection. Welcome to Death's Embrace. And then... 
with an Erd tree on the side of Rylucaria, which presumably would mean big tower and then probably from up north. Presumably. Hmm. Resurrection. Resurrection painting. Be in. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It is up north. Okay. I should probably not cheat myself out of finding that. Well, whatever. Hmm. And this is... What is this? Just sniffing stone four and just one of them. Well, alright. Might not be all that useful right now. At least not until we get another one of those, but... For now, we can go back and give some stuff to Corin. What is interesting is that presumably he's going to call it a work of heresy, which is funny because the dragons were specifically allowed into the Golden Order. Class War Nobles and... Yeah, yeah. That's what I was wondering about because of how it relates to... You know, real Orthodox Catholic divisions in real life. Been cool. Yeah, it's not a work of heresy. They were explicitly allowed into the Golden Order. But it does sort of foreshadow how Corrin is kind of a bit of a zealot in a bad way. Playing Spear before Caster. Ancient Dragon Cole hurls it before the Caster. Lightning Bolt to strike the point of impact. Gotten the Gold Wind. Defeated Ancient Dragon Fortisax and befriended his fallen foe. Pent that gave rise to the Ancient Dragon Cult in the capital. That lightning affinity attacks. Struck for from above, cast repeatedly, and that requires a bit more faith than I can bring to muster right now. I might actually like to stick to electrified armament. Question is where the bell bearing hunter would be. Hmm. And what about the other side? Okay, that's around Church of Vows. Okay. Interesting. To buy a spell from Muriel first. Okay, but we to pierce into lightning. That hmm. That would be a good way to take the one out by Church of Vows. So we need a few more incants. Shine through you. Thank you. Maybe. Oh, and now that we've gotten all of these, we can see this additional map fragment as well so yeah we it's about a fourth complete i would say maybe a third go back to the artist shack and work my way down through here go to that study hall maybe to jarberg then over there's a lot to do but that urd tree probably gonna use black flame again but Hmm. Commoners and merchants. Oh, interesting, but... The merchants being part of it... Is very, very interesting. From a sort of real historical perspective, because... The big fight in the actual medieval era was between... The rising bourgeoisie and the existing nobility, the idea of democracy and the way that people would understand it today was not really a thing. So I should go over and I think I have enough to level up the Great Epe once. This thing legitimately is incredibly good, but I'm probably going to want to upgrade to bloody helix eventually. Is, yeah, there we go. It's a decent upgrade. Go back then and go to the artist shack. Should have worked up half of the right side of Lyurnia. Hmm. Okay. If I 
find my way down this side, I think. Down along this side, maybe? I'm not quite sure. And oh, the Wendell Knight spawns back in. That's interesting. I think actually I'm going to need to. Can't get down there like this. So I'm just going to need to hop over this part and work my way back down. Go to the study hall, Jarberg. Hmm. Really, really, really good weapon. And the nice thing about Blood Flame is that even though not everything is weak to fire, even though fire is definitely one of the better elemental um, damage types in terms of targeting weaknesses, at least most things are going to be vulnerable to bleed. I think this is a fire monk camp. Might even be able to get another prayer book here. Maybe. I know that there is a fire monk pray prayer book somewhere in Lyurnia, so... Oh well. Ooh, alright. I need to free him this. And oh! It takes more than one. Alright then. Oh, you have briar sorceries. Okay. Right, right. They do that. Okay. Cool. Oh, I did not want that. And I. Will this hit? And not really. Maybe if I went for a fully charge. Or I could try. Oh, briars of sin from you, actually. That's nice. World of Own Blood. Discovered by exiled criminals. Sorcerers most reviled by the Academy. Wounds the cast for thorns of sin, creating a spiral of blood thorns cast repeatedly up to three times. Guilty, their eyes gouged by thorns, lived in eternal darkness. There they discovered the Blood Star. And I can't use that yet, but. That could be good against Moog, maybe. Blood versus blood. This, I see a tank over there, so this might be Fire Monk Encampment. Well, it is, kinda. Let's see if I can get one of these guys from behind. We gotta make sure that they turn around or something. They're redheads. Hmm. I can. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, so you came out here because this is where you saw me, but. Oh my goodness, are you strong? Alright. Hmm. Use incantations or. Come on. And. Ooh, alright. Thanks. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Hmm. Well, it's nothing that a few impaling thrusts can't solve. And. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, anything else over here? Is there... Okay. Alright. Oh, and you have fire on that. Two? Oh, flame cleanse me. That is really nice to get, too. Poison scarlet rot. Build up cures ailments. Settle burns. Reminder to fear the flame. Two? Anyone else here? Okay, so that must have been it. Fire spur me. And will this damage me if I stand on it? Didn't expect tranquility. Fun. Do not want to do that. And then... What is over here? Oh, okay, and just... What is... Okay. And get another... Tiny golden rune. Eat smoldering butterflies, and... Can I... Can I break that? No, I can't break that brazier. Well, that was nice to get, actually, because if I want to go to... Lake of Rot early, and I think I do. Having an anti-rot incantation is going to be crucial for that. Get down here. Will that let me down there, or is that impassable? It's hard to tell just looking at the map alone. There's another grace down there. And charge it up for an instant kill. Very weak to any and all kinds of Physical damage. Okay, okay. Then. Interesting. So do they regret kidnapping you, or... Or what? There's a side of grace over there. There's also a tank. Big thing is, am I going to have a way to... Get a plunging attack on it. 
Plunging attack will instantly destroy the tank, but I need to get close first. This is the side of Grace is Eastern Table Land. Okay. Oh, but let me see. Spell and Cure Poison, that's 7 versus 14. And build up Cure's Poison and Scarlet Rot. Hmm. That might be better, just in case. So it would also deal with Frostbite, too. Hmm. I think I'll just have to deal with that tank in a somewhat normal way. And, alright, cool. That works somewhat decently, but, hmm, let me just stab and, okay, alright, thanks. Can I go in and stab again? I need to kill with another stab, okay, hmm, easy enough. So that, that tank back there... It's at least sparking at the top is a kind of hint that you can go down and break it instantly with a plunge, but to actually hit that would be another story. Cool. And just... Can we... Slash... Here we go. And should avoid the fire breath, too. How would I be able to actually get a plunging attack in on that ridiculous thing? Or I could just attack the monk from behind. That works, too. Cool. And move out of the way. It's not like these things are difficult. Oh, come on. I might like to use a horse. One, two, three, and... Are you gonna explode now? No, just disappear. That fire blossom. Mountaintops of the Giants. Half ash and smoldering fire booms on the mountaintops of the Giants. Fertilized by the sparks... Forge at the peak where burns the flame of ruin. Hmm, and... So then, how did you respond? How would you counter? Let's check over this way, and we're about to meet Turtle Pope, actually. That's fun. Mushroom. Anything else? Can we get over here and that's nothing. Beautiful view. Oh, no high road ahead, but gorgeous view. So that jump across, that sort of bridge over the chasm was the only way we could get over this way. Other than working our way up from here, but sad. I don't think there I'm not sure there's a way up here. Oh, but teleporting from Rally Lucario would work. Okay. Hmm. Gonna have to fight a dragon to get into Ryukaria, but that's okay. Going around this way, then it's to Tower and down to the study hall in Jarburg. Going a bit far north at the moment. Up here should also be where the ancestral followers are too. So, uh, and oh, these are more cuckoo knights. Some real cuckoos. Well, actually, these are just wandering nobles. And well, this is gonna be enough. Barely does not kill. Let's get our slashing sword back on. Thank you, and thank you, goodbye. It's nobody for you to even summon, I think. Aristocrat boots. It was in the capital. Pitiful product of unending life. Undead. But they're not those who live in death. It is interesting how there's a distinction between tarnished and those who live in death. It's kind of strange to me. We have Second Lyrian War. No victory for the golden, nor for the moon. No prize but atonement. The birth of a vow. Hmm. Good old Radagon. Not really. Bad young Radagon. And so we can buy something and then presumably make the bell-bearing hunter show up. 
That would be nice. Let's level up. Not level up, but put on Electrify Armament after buying something from Muriel. Okay. Here we are. We don't need Atonement yet. Some Celestial do there, I think. You don't need Absolution. Thank you. Glad to hear it. Then, gold sewing needle and golden tailoring tools. Oh. Demigod garb alteration, sense of grace. Even demigod attire made from gold. The red haired Radagon married into the Karian line. With him, tools brought by Radagon entered marriage with Renala. Okay, hello. Your time. I welcome you to the Church of Vows. Hello. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. The My best. Okay. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, actually, you don't have the option to say yes. I can blame you. But a shattering All of us who saw something very dear, Rudri and the Moon were joined. And here to Radagon, we're not the full moon, monuments of both houses. Rudri and Lindell, as well as Ryo Lucaria. Academy of Ryo Lucaria. Hmm. Something you needed? Show yourself around. Ways are what they used to be. Take it with you. Instruction. All that I know. It's sorcery and incantations. Magic Glint Blade. Old sorcery of the Karian royal family. Enemy seeking Glint Blade appears. Use while in motion. Charging increases delay. Prototype of sword failing sorcerers wielded by royal enchanted knights. This magic greatsword and sweeping bow. Karian greatsword. That's good strength of knights. Loyalty sworn to the moon. Patience, blessings, boon, regeneration, bring delay activation, the aldermen, brigands, and or force. So they didn't understand your idea of plan. Understand your plan? When your remnant of the power of blessing, Radagon. Champion flowing red locks, great golden host, Renault in battle. Pented became husband, Confrey was hounded from the lands between. To return, his second husband, King Consort, second elder lord, endures the same while he would cast her aside. Chosen for the seat, mere champion. Her but a secret, likeness and giant stature. It's a skeleton in Radigan's closet, secret to America. Oh, interesting. That makes sense. Renala, head of the royal family, governor of the academy, full moon witch. It was broken, Radagon left her to wait in the grand library when the academy rebelled. Cradling the amber egg, forbidden right, the incarnation. Consequences more dire. Harvard is secret, I'm just saying that again. Harvard is secret too. Yeah, regression reveals. Uh, let's make it nighttime then and fight the Belboring Hunter till nightfall. Then we can rest again. Then should show up. Don't know if it's in the church or outside it. Let's see, and Muriel's still here, so presumably. Bell bearing hunter would not show up in here. Somewhere outside, maybe in the graveyard. Lightning and somewhere the bell bearing hunter is going to show up. I would like to nowhere. Church of Vows. Another bell bearing from beating the guy up. Come on. Where is my mini boss encounter? Maybe around here or hmm, on the road outside. Well, bearing hunter, church of vows. Oh goodness! What? Okay. Well, bearing hunter, church of vows. Where is he? Lyurnia, East Lyurnia, East of the Academy at night. Check the map. And. 
Okay, up north. The Meat Peddler's Bell Bearing. Okay. Says advancing till morning. Weird. Rest again, and it is nighttime. Should get to spawn. It was easy in the War Master's Shack, so I'm wondering what might be going on. This is strange. Hmm. Maybe if I. Yeah, if I advance it till morning and check again, the wiki said that might make it show up. It's weird. So, very, very late at night. Just the start might be. Come on. I know that. Huh. Occasionally you have to wait for a while at night to make the hunter show up. For whatever reason, when I was at the War Master Shack, it showed up much earlier than that. Hmm. This is strange. I guess the only thing I can really do is just make it night time again, rest again, and then wait, because it takes a few minutes. It's annoying. Okay, let's try this again. And we did buy a spell from him, which apparently is a condition for the Bell Bearing Hunter showing up around here. But, yeah, we bought Magic Gwent Blade, and bought... Hmm. It's supposed to show up somewhere around this area, but he has not done as such. I know you have to wait. When I was testing it out on my original file, it made me wait until the sort of time needle more or less hit the moon. But... For whatever reason, the War Master Shack did not have that condition. Which really, really weirds me out. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alright. Luckily, just stamming with a great epic hits both of them reliably. It is nice to get a bit more Roa from them, too. Given what I use it for. This is anybody over here in this graveyard or. It's a grave violet, and oh, there we are, cool. Anyone in? And nobody with the axe. That's sad. I want that thing. And, well, I guess I could take down a few of these guys at least, but... Hmm. And piercing is not the way to go about this. And oh my goodness, okay, cool. Hmm. Well, alright. Thanks, and okay. Can I... Do this again, and okay, and all right, stab. And, okay, cool. I guess should get. Yep, yeah, got a blast back. Hmm. So suppose I'll poke a bit more around this top area till the time comes where I can actually fight the bell bearing hunter. But oh, walking mausoleum down there. Oh, so you made up a story to make it think like you were actually extorted. And let me guess, they're going to demand you come back with this guy's head, sort of. We'll free you, but you have to hunt down this bandit leader that we didn't know anything about. And now you have to figure out a way to make the story make sense. That's fun. Can I... How are we going to make this work? Or maybe you might have to just kill the bandits who you were previously working with to make the story make sense. Now that would be an interesting twist. Just either way. The agreement not working because the story could not stick together. Then we... Deathbirds have shown up very reliably, but... Hmm. Yeah, I guess the Deathbirds and the Knight's Cavalry might be a bit more lenient in terms of the time in which they show up. It's possible. And this... Is this ta statue anything special? It does not seem to be. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose that will simply 
Yeah, continue poking around this part of Lyurnia until we get to the right time of night. It is kind of annoying that you can't just make it show up. There are some things, like the fact that walking mausoleums eventually go to sleep at a certain time of night. And become much easier to hit the skulls on. That's something I can understand that I'm not wanting you to just be able to fast forward to. Making you wait around for the bell-bearing hunter encounter is different and not as pleasant. That said, it's weird that they didn't make me wait for the one over in... Over by Warmaster's Shack. I really do wonder what gives there. And why it happened like that. I, okay, come on. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. One, two, three, four. And then we can get some of these back. There's some in one of the other ones, but one, two, we should get. We did not get a cerulean flask back. Hmm. Okay. Who else? Yeah, yeah. So essentially, there was an invented story about this outlaw chief extorting you. So, what what kind of demand was made by by the alderman? We got what is oh it, the old palace ruins and. As a result, we have some ancestral... Oh, real ancestral followers. Oh, that's fun. Cool. And, alright. Thank you. So the question is... How much better Bloodhound's Fang might be at doing them criticals? Because they are weaker to slash, to my knowledge. Okay, come on. One... You and oh well it's actually not that much better. Hmm. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Well they actually oh my goodness, okay. Fun. Not really. Hmm, alright. Uh, okay, cool. Let's get out of dodge. It's gonna be interesting, but okay. So the Great Epic's critical damage is nice. Also got... I need to use the Misericord for criticals. Honestly. I'm not... Yeah, what I should be doing is using... Maybe... Misericord in one hand. Great Epic in the other. It's gonna be really scuffed. For a critical oriented build for breaking stance, and then. Hmm. Gonna be funky. Okay. Try this out. I think we're about where we need to be time wise, so. This is Electrify Armament. Try that out. Try that bad boy. And. Can I. That. Oh, it gets rid of the buff. Oh. Hmm. Well then, I... okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's new to me. Okay. Huh. So in that case, I... When is my jump scare hunter going to show up? Hmm. I'm actually better off using the big thing is that if I want to target damaged up, I need to actually infuse this thing. But hmm. all right, put our epi in there. Then we will actually just electrify this stupid thing. So I will, in that case, electrify my armament. Then probably chug one of these. And if I'm lucky, he'll show up around here. Or not. But I... I bought something from Muriel, but... Elmer is not showing up. Weird. Should be the right time of night, too. 
Oh, Bearing Hunter. Church of Vows. And then... Church of Vows. Hmm. Buying a spell from Muriel first. Exit and re-enter the game. Trigger the title. Three requirements. That should be right over there. Weird. I... Hmm. Somewhere around this way? But... Maybe I need to buy more spells from Muriel? I really don't know. Study some incantations and get Blessing's Boon. Not like I can use the thing for anything, but... Hmm. It's legitimately quite weird. The spawn break is a result of... The patch? I can't imagine that would be the case. Maybe it spawns on top of here? That might be the case, which would be kind of crazy. Let's see, not here, but not here. Angel and the bandit and footman charge, ranger's traps. Oh, so basically... It might be a good time to sort of cut ties with the bandits anyway. That... That's a bit dirty. Get it though. So then... Let's try that. See if this might work. I... This should be the place. But it's not... Going. The thing is not thinking. Hmm. It says, as long as it's night, it says exit and re-enter the game to make it spawn. Hmm. Let's just reset. See if that makes it work. It might. It might. Let's continue. Continue. And if I'm lucky, it's gonna be it. My lightning on there. And is this gonna be the time, the place? No. I really, really wonder. It. I get the feeling that maybe I'm just not in the right spot. Weird. Hmm. Let me just see. Church of Vows, and then. Vows, Bell Bearing Hunter. It's not spawning. Time until night. Talk, rest, talk again. Oh, you have to. Mm, you have to make sure that Muriel is not inside. Okay. Hmm. Reload the area. As long as Muriel is not there. It'll spawn. Then. Okay, there we go. This should work. Yeah, Muriel is. Muriel is missing. Okay, cool. One, two, three, nice, and nice, critical, cool, and one, two, and, ooh, my, okay, I did not want that to happen, thank you, cool, and just cannot, go, oh, well, okay, okay, hmm, all right, I figured it might be like the War Master, but, Okay, archers and the knights, two paladins, the rock throwers, oh, so, the kobold treatment, fair enough, hmm, but, 
Stance breaks were good. Something like. Hmm. Something like. Lion Skull will eventually be my best bet. Said. Lion Skull is so good that I almost don't want to have it here right now. That shouldn't make him disappear. Should make Hunter up here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Thank you. Oh, but what we should do is... No, re maybe we could rest again real quick just to get... We keep the buff. We get our MP back. Well, we'll see. See how well that works. Then as soon as we can do that, we... Two and three and... Oh my, okay. Thanks, all right. Ooh, all right. Thanks. And... Oh, come on. Okay. Break the stance and... Hit. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay, let's just use this. And... Can I... All right. Dodge. Dodge. And dodge. Okay, cool. One. Ooh, okay. Thanks. And just... Can we break again and... Hit again. And now we need to... There we go. Dead. Cool. Nice. Take that. Enemy failed. Cool. That's a good amount of stuff. We get Meat Peddler's Bell Bearing. An unfortunate Meat Peddler slain by the Bell Bearing Hunter. Strip of Flesh. Lump of Flesh. And Turtle Neck Meat. Turtle Neck Meat being here has an unfortunate implication. Let's just... Hmm. We can buy a spell from Muriel now. See if he has any special dialogue. Oh well. Study sorcery by Karian Greatsword, which we can't use yet. All those already. Cool. Is there something? something else? Well, nothing yet. Knight required ahead. Let me see. Try knight, yeah. Night. Those are good ones. Yeah. Okay. Now that there are two knights cavalry, and we are only a two. Knights cavalry, and we are only a. We are only a south. We are only a north. That's in. Gate Town Bridge only appears at night. Oh, that's. Pretty close, and what did I... Me oh, message of praise. Hey, I'm back. Hopefully this won't become a regular thing. Uh, it... I'm gonna have to do a ram, random access memory test, among other things. I think there's a chance that it might just be physically dislodged. I'm going to check. Okay. Meat Paddler's Bell Bearing. Fun. So I now have the ability to buy... Thank you. Bye, Cart and Greatsword again, and then Right so I'm over by this bridge. Should be a knight's cavalry around here so we can deal with it. Big thing is that for now I'm not recording it anymore, which might help a little. We'll see. Knight's cavalry. Knight's cavalry. Let's see. Knights Cavalry. Week two, pierce and two lightning. So armored enemies are decently weak to it, but yeah, weakest to pierce, second weakest to lightning. So this should be fine. Okay, and where are they? Should make the guy appear. And now, now I see him. Now I see him. So electrifier armament and use some piercing and bailing thrusts to knock him off his horse. Hello there, hi. Alright, alright. Thank you. Cool. Nice, and alright. Mmm. Dodge, and can I- Mmm, weird. Oh, come on. I- alright. Wow, that- Range is not quite what I expected or wanted. Thank you, and... Mm, mm, oh my goodness. Okay. There's a bit of a 
have an issue with. Hmm. So the question is, is does the horse have any different resistances and weaknesses compared to its rider? Not sure. Okay, and all right. Thanks. And mmm. Okay. Cool. Oh wow. Okay. Huh. Somehow I get the feeling that killing the horse would be something better done with. Thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah, like I said, I'm not actively recording it anymore. I'm just going to download the VOD from Twitch. The end of all this, and then just re-upload it to YouTube, which should hopefully help some things, but we'll see. For now, I think I'm going to switch back to Bloodhounds, and then maybe actually sort of switch my spell for the fight. Big thing is that Blood Flame would actually be pretty good. Number of reasons I might actually like to put on Bestial Vitality. Let's use. Hmm. Don't need that right now. What I do want is Blood Flame Blade on there as well. And we'll beat up the horse real quick with some bleed, hopefully, and then one on one v one the guy on the horse. Let's see. Or if I really wanted to, what I could do is just try jousting, basically. That could be fun. I feel like I should try jousting at least once. Ramod and Ramira, Conquest and Rage. So a Conquest Paladin and Redemption Paladin? Lion Armor. Somehow I get the feeling that your DM really liked General Radon. Oh, but I should also maybe put on Bestial Vitality. Sure. Alright then. Let's take this guy. Take this guy's horse down and... Okay, can I... Nice and... Oh, alright. Thanks. Hmm. Alright, alright. Well, Two and this one. And... Hmm. Can I... Do I oh, well, oh, wow! That was tough. That was something. Hmm. Okay. Should have been at full health. Should always be at full health. It's just special vitality is kind of a safety net, but Wind Silver Dragon though. Makes me think of I don't know, Rolana from what I've seen of her. Oh well, I may as well get this back now, but I don't know if they're Yeah, understandable. To be to be fair, who isn't? Who isn't? Okay, just Stupid rune bear. No, just a normal bear. Not a rune bear, but. Hmm. Silver dragon. So let's. Pass the time tonight. Find that guy again. And hope and pray that I can. Take it down. Should be able to. Oh, it's already there. Okay. So it doesn't have any kind of silliness like the other one. Oh, wow. Nice. That's exciting. How are you playing? Hmm. Are you on the DLC yet, or...? Because I... that is a long way off for me. Can I... nice, and... roll... okay, thanks. Ooh, oh, okay. Hmm, dodge, okay, can I... Uh, I oh, oh my goodness, okay, fun. What? Uh, fair. What point? Where have you reached? I don't actually need to get too much in the way of... That rune stain is basically nothing. Honestly, maybe I should just I should just stay on my horse. It's an option. Don't even think that would be a big issue. Stay on the horse and maybe just jounce joust with the lance? It's an idea. Well, not with the lance, but joust with Bloodhound's Fang. Maybe try to kill the horse or something, but hmm. Should be fine. Oh, nice. That's such a was a praise. Good weekend. Okay, cool. 
And we can just one, two. Okay, that will help me. Stay out of the way then. I mmm. Interesting. I, okay, oh, alright. And can I get this? Mm hmm Some trouble. One, two, three. Okay, alright. This is much, much better. But horse back. Probably gonna be my way to do this. I, okay, alright. Thanks. And okay, alright, thanks. Hmm. Alright. One. Mmm, I'm actually kind of stuck here. It's not good. Hmm, okay. Well, electrolyte armament on the unmounted version should be okay. So let's just... Can I... Well, never mind. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, Altus! I like that. How do I... Wait, what did I do wrong this time? Let me just try to get this... Oh, well, you're gonna... I messed it that up. Missed my opportunity. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just try to... Honestly, let's try that again. Curved Greatsword, is it Bloodhound's Fang, or which one are you using? Dismounter, Omen Cleaver? I honestly, what would it take to use? Smart, smart, smart. Kind of like a Murakumo. That needs, I've got enough to wield it. Let me see, I, I honestly kind of want to just try using the Lance. Given how good it is on horseback. But, hmm, should I have in the way of smithing stones? I don't have that much. I, Great Epe would be better, presumably, but I want to see what the mounted moveset of the Lance is in comparison to the Great Epe's. That would make some difference. Let's just get one short upgrade on this. We'll get the bell bearing soon enough. So we need a little bit more. Let's do that then. Thank you. I guess I could give this to the Haas, but I eh, don't feel like it. And then, and then... So you're doing kind of a Kaiden Cellsword build, or...? I should level that up too. Let's just get a decently big rune. Should be fine. Ah, fair. Omen Cleaver is a little bit better, I think, and even though the thing about Bloodhound's Fang is that it might be probably the best one, but it also just, it doesn't look all that good in my opinion, and I think you probably agree a little. Mm -hmm. Finger Seal is decent. Let's just go back and see what this moveset is like. Okay. Set of this is that. Hmm, that's a good one. Sort of prep the charge, but the great epee. How would that work? Great epee on horseback. About the same, actually. Can I charge this? Yeah, okay. So this could be a fun way to do it. Interesting. It's Bestial Vitality and then use... Though frankly, I would kind of prefer using the Lance for these fights. It is what it is. We need to... Right, so you're over here. Hello there. And just charge that up and... Alright, cool. Thanks, thanks, and... Mmm... Two... We, ooh, thanks, Dad. Kill the horse, or not, or not. Hmm, okay. Cool. Then we'll... You don't have any kind of healing, is the thing. Where are you? Okay, nice. And then we can dodge your charge and keep on poking. Thanks. Oh, alright. Oh, come on. I can hardly see anything here. Okay. Mm -mm, just want... Oh, please. Mm -mm. How long is this going to last again? I have some worries. Okay. Let's just re-electrify. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. Alright. Just... Uh, mm -mm. Get back on the horse. I... 
Oh, Banish Knights, that makes sense. That's a good one. Then... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Vance. Vance is gonna be better for this. Anyway, I... Alright. Three, four, and... Can I... Think... Well, actually, what I should do is... Try to... Mm, oh, come on. Okay. Hmm. Oh, please, I... Alright. Nice, and... Ah. Uh. Hmm. Try this again. I... Alright. Thanks, thanks. And there we are, so that means we can... Actually, we can't do that. Okay, three, four, and there we go, cool. Finally did that. Just get Ice Spear now. I think. Nice. Ash of War Ice Spear. Add some cold affinity, Winter Princess Rani, cold magic channel into a piercing spear of ice. How would he have gotten that, though? That's the question. I think we can buy... A condition from Corin. A bit more lightning on here, but... Lance is good. The Lance is good. Would be better for taking them down. Let's get... Lightning Spear then. Keep on moving, and now that we've killed that guy, I guess the question is, is there going to be a Death Bird? Death Bird, Elden Ring. That. Scenic Isle and Capital Outskirts. And very, very weak to Holy Anda Strike. Hmm. Scenic Isle. Should find that eventually. For now, I think I'll go back over here. That Urd tree and village over this way will also be nice, but Hyatt is still over here, is the thing. I already gave her a grape. It's gonna make her move on, is the thing. Oh, nice! The fighter cleric? Belm Troost in northeastern Lyurnia. Makes her move on. Doing nothing in Castle Morn. Hyetta. Esker 1. Gate Town. Reloading more dialogue. Okay, into Bellum Church. Okay. So we gotta reload and talk to her again. Nice. I didn't think about him using a sword. Whenever I think of clerics, I think of them using maces. I shouldn't be so quick to assume. Just gotta talk to her. You're over there, something important indeed. Eyes I had to eat. Far and frail, can't be seen by the naked eye. Eyes together, it all makes sense. We'll be a finger maiden. Mm. There we go, certain now. That will move her up to Bellum Church, where we can take down Vike. So let's see. Should be good. Now she's moved on, so we'll find her a bit farther up north. Should be fine. Get stuff up here. So I think the way I'll do this is also maybe go over here to the Ever Jail. Go all the way up north by the Dectus Lift. Maybe get this here, start progressing on the lake, and then before I go to Raya Lucaria, I'll go through the manor. I think that's how I'll handle it. That tower over there, I'm not sure about. Hmm. It's interesting. Hopefully, not actively recording while I'm streaming should take some of the load off my PC, but frankly, I can't hope for too much anymore. So this down here should be nice. We'll see. Grid Hammer and the Falcon. Oh, interesting. That's cool. It's a fun choice. But what about it specifically suits a God of Storms? Oh, weird. I, okay. Nice. One, two, and go for A. Critical. And one more quick hit. Come on, come on, die. There we go. Cool. Impaling Thrust really is just great. Hmm. Is it a sort of storm wind type thing? Oh, and what is this? Oh, this is... Ansel River Well. Right, okay. 
So let's take these guys down. There's a golem over here, and I think should be fine. These charge attacks should work. Honestly, it's other things that... Giant Crusher is better skills for the sake of breaking stance, because its charge attack is weird, but... There we go, nice. Just go in and hit again. One, two. Just do that one more time once you get back up. Thank you. Thank. Oh, I. All right. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just dodge. Oh well, I missed time that entirely. So let's just. Hmm. Okay. Oh. All right. Great. Okay. Hmm. I gotta move in and can I? Hmm. Charge and then we. Charge again, and miss entirely. And there we have it, one more. Big ol' critical with the club, we'll do this. Thank you, I- alright, cool. That did not quite work. Hmm, okay. I need to- Okay, alright. Hmm. Oh, rips it up. Not see that coming. Just advancing. Slam down your leg, and there we go, dead golem. It's more troublesome than it needed to be, and... Slipping Stone 2, okay. Golden Rune, and this should be the Ansel River Well. Check this out, and... Here we are, the Ansel River Well. Let's activate this, and... If I wanted to, I could go to... I could go through the Lake of Ra right now. I could fight Estelle right now. Said I'm probably going to wait. For a number of reasons, the biggest one probably being just. I don't have Meteorite or the ability to use it, which I would probably want if I actually wanted to fight Estelle. Got ants over there. Funny. And Seifer's down there, so. See a bit more of underground lands between, but not quite yet. Let's put on. Starlight, just to look around here, and that's helpful. I don't need a torch ever again. Let's take this out of my inventory. Ansel River. Hmm. Musker race discovered. Question is where I'm going to find that map. But, for now, actually, I think I'm going up. Back up top. Just so I don't have to deal with that goal again when I'm poking about. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. Chillin. This is a bit different from Sifra. It's definitely more of a standard cave type area. Don't dislike that. It's a big old cave and a big sort of underground meadow with an artificial night sky. Okay. This is then the Ansel River well. Yeah, the Ansel River well. Falcon. That reminds me a bit, actually, of Demon Souls. How the skeletons in the, in the Shrine of Storms area generally tend to use curve swords. And it is interesting that... In Demon Souls, though, I didn't find out until I was actually afflicted with it, which only happened once anyway, that Bloodlust and Demon Souls is basically just another kind of poison. It is an instant health shred like it is in other Souls games. It's not hemorrhage, it's gradual blood loss. Just different and interesting. Thanks. Cool. Alright. And dodge. Thank you. Can we right, can we get our blood boss build up? Need to dodge and can I Mm. Okay, there we go. And can we get around front for a critical? No, we cannot. That's sad. Okay, cool. Hmm. I dodge. Okay. Hmm. Cringe rune bear. And okay. Can I? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
two, and just one. And I dodge and mm, swing and move back in for a quick critical, but I cannot. No, I can't. Well, I can kill it anyway. Okay, cool. Thanks. But the hammer! It's very much just a Mjolnir kind of thing, it seems to me. I... I think I gotta play the new God of War eventually. And why is there a school of graven mages right here? Alright, I guess. Cool, I suppose. Come on, you... Okay. Hmm. Just gotta stay out of the way of... That. Thanks. Okay. I to do all the much more damage, so it's gotta get out of the way before that happens. And one, two, three. Okay. Anything new? No, nothing. Okay. Big thing is, if I want to kill that rune bear, I should do it before it wakes up. And I do want to kill it, so let's do that before it wakes up. Didn't expect plump sort. Alright. That's just one two okay, alright then. Just dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, I oh come on. Stupid stupid and now we're dead. Okay. Fun. Not really. Hmm. Maybe I should have just ran around behind. Maybe. It's an idea. I am... Um, and it did send me down here. Interesting. Hmm. Let's just get that back up. Kill that rune bear. Hope that things go better this time. Take some time for that elevator to come back down. I... Kinda wish that Cuckoo Knights have dropped. It's only the Cuckoo Surco, which is worse than armor I've currently got, except for Magic Resistance. Gondrick Soldier Greaves. For stuff, no Cuckoo stuff, which is sad. Mm -hmm. Well, we got some Rune Bears to kill, so let's go and actually do it. Come on, come on. It's a pretty elevator, but it takes a while. Should probably send it back down, because there's no grace up top to automatically teleport to, like there is one down in the river. Yep, about 20 seconds of elevator. Okay, and oh, the, the golem did not respawn. That's good. It's just guarding the way in, but after you kill it once, you don't need to do it again. That's a relief. At least a minor relief. Ramir and Ramira. Mock and Taunt attacking. Oh, wow. So basically, he was stupid enough, rash enough to just kill with a bit of trickery. Presume the other one might be might have been a bit more treacherous. One and... Oh, there's a guy there. That's not good. Okay. Hmm. wonder if he'll be able... Oh, my... What?! Oh my goodness, that's a big bloodstain just gone. That sucked. That was enough to buy own bolt. Whatever. Whatever. Stupid. Big thing is, I should make it nighttime. I don't even really need to kill that rune there, do I? It. Going for the Bloodhound's finesse initially feels kind of crucial in the sense that. It gives me the ability to build up a good amount of stance damage early on, but they're weirdly finicky in terms of actually getting criticals off on them. That's the thing. It... It is really funny how some of the most consistently difficult standard enemies are just literal bears. Big thing is that I went in to attack it before I got my rune stain back, which was really stupid. Whatever. Learning experience. Maybe. I guess the question is just, do I go into Ansel now? I guess... I guess I'll go into An After the study hall. After the study hall, I'll just go into Ansel. That's what I'll do. Should hopefully be some more smithing stones and some other things to get. And 
guess the question is what bosses down there, if any, and literally no nothing in that rune stain, so Alright then, alright. One, two, three, four, and infinite infinite poise. Can't stagger them in any way that matters. Thank you. Cool. Slam. 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 And... Won't come down until the other volleys are done. Okay. Let's get my Bloodhound's Fang back on. Brother is... Oh, brother. Brother and... Oh, brother in a family sense? Or just... Mmm... So she got more threatening as a result, or what happened? Okay, so let's avenge our bloodstain and kill this annoying bear, or not. I, okay, cool, and oh goodness, I need a bit more of that. And, okay, cool. This is a grab didn't get me. Do okay, cool. Hmm. Get up. Dodge. Okay, one, two, and... Oh, okay, alright, and this should do it. There we go, we can get critical on you. The stupid bear. Oh, and the blood loss built up. Interesting, I was not expecting that. Cool. Dodge. Okay. That pounding attack is actually a bit reminiscent of Guardian Ape. One. And just... Oh, okay, cool. So you run back when it does that attack, I think. And, mm, I hate, hate these bears. And die, die, and, okay, come on, die. There we go. It only took way too much. Okay, so let's poke around a little bit more. Up in the little northern pocket here, and then, I guess, really is the question, do I go to the study hall first, or do I go to Ansel? I kind of feel like going to the study hall again. I see. Oh, these are, are these fireflies? Or, oh, lots of golden fireflies. That's actually really good because of how much I use them for the gold pickle feet. Now that, I think they're more. And a blood rose here. Weird. I think you can get more over in Wingrave in that one area, but it should still be fine. Anything past here? Or. Let's see, you can poke around up top and. Okay, so there was a chair with... Oh, a stone sword key. That was somewhat worth getting. Didn't expect comfort. So then, if we go back down here, we can get to... Karian Study Hall in Dejarburg. The Jar Town. And over in the Study Hall... be some bosses, and we can't quite get to the Divine Tower of Lyurnia yet, but... Hmm. At least somewhat clear the way, I suppose. Losing that blood is not fun. Said, we are consistently buying out all of the available spells as soon as they're available, so that's not a huge issue. Thanks, and alright. Hmm. It's not quite a one-hit kill, but it's still good, but I mm, we need to stay out of the way of that fire. Nice. Two. Okay, alright, and, ooh, funky, and just do that, and we kind of wasted an opportunity there, but that's fine. Worked out in the end. Heal up real quick, it, you know, Ash of War spam does feel a bit cheesy sometimes, but it is very, very interesting, because it counteracts... It encourages you to actually build mine and therefore focus points as a weapon user. And frankly, Ashes of War. An Ash of War build is probably stronger than a spell build in a lot of situations, just because there are honestly very few things in Elden Ring that are actually really specifically weak to any kind of elemental damage types. Most things are going to be better dealt with using physical, we agree enough, and that definitely blunts a lot of the appeal of a caster build. And I did play through a decent amount of this game, as in, well, I beat the final boss, but I skipped most of everything in between with a pure sorcery build, and 
Nothing is really specifically weak to magic. I think a lot of that is to compensate for the fact that magic builds really only have access to magic damage and standard physical damage, but it, if you have some sorcery capability on a more balanced build, you're not really going to be using it except for just projectiles against things you want to hit in the air. Wizard ends. Oh, wow. So, what kind of weapon did she... So what kind of weapons did they use? Because if she's using... She, she uses swords of all kind. Alright. Simple. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Range is not as overpowered as I expected, though. So the study hall is right there. Hmm. Let's keep on checking and that... Get down that way. Duel. So what kind of bard is the bard? It's frankly... A bard being in melee is... Unless they're swords is not usually the best idea. One. Two. Three. Hmm. Come on, come on, and just... Alright. Slam. Two. Ooh, alright. Hmm, can I... One. Two, three. It really does feel sometimes like this thing has some kind of weird phantom range on a lot of its standard normals. Not complaining, but it does feel strange. College of Lore. Oh, so it wasn't any kind of really thought out action, just impulsive, or. How did that not hit me? I'm not complaining. Hmm. Beast bones, lump of flesh, but I. Hmm. So you're kind of stuck on the wall, which meant we were able to pin you down. Okay, cool. Then, set a brace over here, another wolf. Okay. One, two, three. Then I'll activate that grace. Should be nice. What is this grace then? This is... let's see. This grace is the... Lost Grace Discovered. Eastern Lyurnia Lake Shore. I always feel like I have to check to see if Melina says anything. And Unless I'm in a church or some other especially lore relevant location, she never does. It is what it is. So presumably, I would expect Preceptor Muriel to be weak to slash damage, maybe. Let's go into our funny study hall mini dungeon that will eventually lead us once we invert it, which will take some other quest lines, eventually let us into Divine Tower of Weirnia, but not quite yet. Hmm. Jarberg down here. Attention! Oh, okay, so... So yeah, it was a purely... Impulsive thing done under duress. Makes sense? I might have mentioned this before, but... My favorite thing to do in 5e was always playing as a Bladesinger. And usually running a... Sort of buff myself and fight in melee type build. Which, I suppose, is not necessarily the most optimal way to play all the time, but I think this is Carrion Slicer, right? I mean, Carrion Piercer. And Carrion... Is it... Carrion... Carrion Piercer? No, it's a... Somber Smithing Stone 3. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. I can finally get some more strength out of my Bloodhound's Fang. Let's just cast some Starlight so we can poke around a bit. Over this way. Gotta be thorough. Hmm. This is... Okay, so to get to Jarber, presumably I'd have to go through the study hall. I think. It's interesting. Here we are, the Karian study hall. Oh, that was a bit of lag. Hmm. So before we proceed any further, I think... Oh, hello? 
Social good, transmit to posterity, wisdom of the moon and stars, obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. As you have to interact with this, with the inversion statue, examine pedestal, something fits on it, but we don't have the statue yet. So we can't invert the study hall. Go to the table. Go and strengthen my bloodhounds fang a little. It does remain my best slashing weapon for the time being. Over Doobie is good, but mm, it's really scaling all that much. So let's make this thing stronger. Oh, but we can level it up even more because we have... Oh, no, we have five, but we don't have four yet. That's right. Okay, cool. So then let's go back inside the study hall. Study hall entrance. But the other side, presumably, would be... Wait, a jar bird, because I can't reach... Oh, but there are gravestones down here, so... That's how I'd reach that spot. Okay. Oh, before any of that, let's just... Prod, poke and prod our way through. Anyway. Hmm. You know, there's some illusory walls in Ryukaria, but expect jumping. Strong fell ahead. Question is, think of that. Try using this regardless of what she's going to do, and... Oh, that's right. Muriel is going to harry us from range, and we'll have to reach her. Okay. The faster I get up top, the better. Okay, cool. And, oh, alright, you... Oh, interesting. I mean, Preceptor Miriam. Let's just equip this. Take her down. Funny, we're at a moment. I, okay, alright, just... One, two, and... Okay, yeah, that is good. Slam, and... Okay, cool. Oh, well... How did that... Oh, you can just teleport out of the way. That was new and not pleasant. Where is she shooting from? Oh, okay. Hmm. So if I dodge out of the way, just gotta chase you down then. I. Oh my goodness. I. Okay. All right. And just make sure we see what's going on. All right. And dodge. And can I slam to? Oh my goodness. You. Okay. Where are you now? Just gotta play around with you then. See how we can... Can I... Slam! Oh my goodness, okay. Oh my... Okay, alright. There should be... A little bit more of her... Shooting from somewhere, and... Where is she? Where did she go? Hmm. Gotta play hide-and-seek with Miriam here. Guess we could just take down these... Commoners, just for fun. And a few more... Runes. Hmm. They're gone now. How much farther in did she go? Seems like she teleports in at certain health break points? Maybe. Hmm. Either way, this thing is a good deal stronger now. So is this where she fled to? And what is this? Carrion Glint Carrion Glintstone Staff and that Carrion Sword Sorcery, so like Karin Slicer and the Greatsword, not the Gwent Blade, Blue Point Stone, knock the Roll of Night. Is she in here or? Let's see, a hole ahead. That. Go up or down or. Let's just see if she. I think that was. This is where I. Right. Battlehead, so to speak, try bow and can I. Yeah, alright. Take you down here, presumably, so just... Oh my goodness. Keep teleporting. I hate you. They cannot... Oh my goodness, you... Okay? Gotta keep chasing you, and... Oh my... Okay, alright, thanks. When are we gonna be able to pin you down? Okay, alright, and just... Cannot... Dodge, dodge, and... Oh my... Okay? I like that you can just teleport freely. Just gotta chase you all the way to the ends of the earth. And I... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, but I think maybe you have to... Oh, come on. All right. Thanks. Dodge. Maybe I just have to hit with... I think she's going to keep running. 
So unless I have a way to shoot her down like this, well, okay. Annoying. You are certainly a pain. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. And we'll need one more. Hmm, but you're in there as opposed to on that wall and... Okay, well... Hmm. Come on, come on, and... Oh, well, we don't have the... Need a bit more cerulean. Get somewhere where I can hit you. And there we go, can we... Take that? Nice. How much, how much? Ah, good amount and magic downpour. So we're using Spruce Projectiles over an area, Karan Royal Family, Castle in Motion, Trojan Conservation, Town by the Crystallians, and Mark of the Squaring of the Old Concord. So is that Karian or is it Crystallian? It's actually Karian. Either way, we've gone through this place, so let's see what the secret treasure of this land is. Presumably there's something up top. So these illusions have not disappeared, even though we've Dispel their master, presumably. Assuming it was her who made them show up, and that is not an illusory wall. How's that? Let's get our starlight back on. See this place a little better, and there was a ladder up somewhere. That'll be nice to check out, and this is just a golden rune. Two, three, four. Hmm. They're actually dropping. Don't think that was actually their headband, just coincidentally placed ring. Yeah, there's a ladder up somewhere, and that was the way we came in, so. Miro is hiding behind inadvertently this ladder over here, so let's just climb up. See what our reward is for struggle and trouble. And you are. Oh my goodness, this reminds me a bit of other oh, rats. Hmm. Bit of the research hall. Well, all sorts of areas where you have to go to. Hmm. Oh goodness, if I fall off, I'm very, very dead. Maybe I might like to engage them from range then. Maybe. Oh, and you are. No, that's just another rat. Yeah, okay. Slash the rat up. Kill, and oh my goodness. Okay, one, two, three. So two hits were not enough. Okay, but getting down to those chandeliers, I don't think we'll... I think that'll do anything of note. Like some of the other comparable rafter crawling areas. So, yeah, there was another ladder up here, so let's not fall down. Use that brace to know what the backside is. Actually, honestly, blood flame. That would be worthwhile right now. Get up any higher? I think that whatever's up top here is going to be the last little bit. Of anything here? Arrows and a. That's actually a good amount of damage increase from the blood flame blade. Lightning bolt, a crit. Wait, so. If they roll in that one on a save, it counts as a crit in the campaign? That's cool. It is interesting that that isn't base game rules. Cerulean Seed Talisman and that boosts up the restoration or to receive basically an Ashen Estus ring. Perfect internal believe that Urtree Seeds could not exist, unfortunately. Unfortunately, which was not to be. Dex save and at least he didn't die instantly. Well, I'm pretty sure that instant death isn't a rule in 5e anyway. So, let's go back through the study hall, but I guess the only thing to get here initially is just see what's up there, if anything. Is there going to be another one, or? No, I don't think there's a secret there. It's worth checking, though. Yeah, it. No, nothing there. Okay. So this is that one part of Lothric Castle where there's an elevator that you could send down, well, send up. Well, actually, twice in the game, once in Undead Settlement 2. Sort of a double-layer elevator where 
you would have to send it up and then send it up or down and then get on a second connected elevator, but not the case here. It's an interesting way to hide things. Then let's simply poke through transgressions of the princess, but it would be that would be Ronnie. So then anything else over here or mm -hmm. So this was all there was to get in the study hall this time. Should go back to should go to Jarburg now. Turn on those gravestones and see what I can find. Anything over here does not seem like it. Maybe on the other side, probably not either, but may as well check. Hmm. Honestly, as cool as the spot was, the standard form was not worth it. And oh, hello. Well. Alright, well, we'll just kill you. Easy enough. Okay. So in that case, we have to go around up. I guess Artist Shack would actually be closest side of Grace there. Go back here and hop down the gravestones to get to Jarburg, which will eventually be a quest line, but not at the moment. One of those silly walls, but yeah, that goes a bit higher than it really has to, but that's because the inverted version does go a bit higher up to the Divine Tower, which can't really do anything with yet. It is interesting that we, d we never even see what Ronnie's great, great Room looks like. Of course, you can't activate it because of the way that... Oh, there was something here. Oh, just... Oh, that's not bad. Decent have. Hmm. So what else? Here should be the way down. Don't need those sunflowers, but... So where then? Okay, right here. Jumping down these gravestones. And... Come on. So the question is how anyone poaching the jars can even get here without having a horse. Doesn't make much sense. And well, that didn't work either. Fun. Oh, well, yep, it's Jarburg for sure. Okay. Hmm. Great. Great stuff. Okay. So let's make our way back. Get that rune stain again. Maybe I could use a sacrificial twig or something. Uh, uh. Honestly, yeah. I may as well. Big thing is I should honestly... So that twiggy cracked tier I might like having. The one that replicates the effect of sacrificial twig. Big issue is that jumping down is so finicky. You really want the double jump, but without torrent. Hmm. Well with torrent you get a lot more loose. Can't hit things as reliably. And oh, you have to basically fall down here without anything particular to drop down onto. Oh, that's worrisome. Took some damage, but that's alright. Let's go over here and just rest at this side of grace. And here we are. Funny Jar Town. Jarburg. It's completely, almost entirely secret location, because you can't get here without it dropping down. Hmm. If you just try to get down there normally, it just won't work. So in that case, I will... Oh, hello. Mickle is Lily, and hello. Hi. Can I talk? Tranquility. Two versus one. Snare and rooted her. And just gust of wind, gust of wind, and that knocked her prone. 
Fireball. Okay, so there are certain good items around here. This. Okay, a Cracked Pot. Presumably we'll get at least more Cracked Pot here too. Top of this big pot. Oh, but it's quite dark here even in the daytime, so... Let's get a bit more of that. An Eye of Yellow. Weird. And a Ritual Pot. An eye That's my first Ritual Pot. Ritual Pot items. Special item, greater durability, and then a Cracked Pot. Ritual Pot items display their effects when the pot is thrown. Hmm. I don't really use throwing pots, though. That's the thing. The sleep pots might be nice to use, but... Lots and lots of nice stuff around here. Poison blooms, eyes of y'all, just lots of flowers. Maybe because... The flesh inside them nurtured things, but... Just a lot of cracked pots here. Huh. And... I think... Can at least talk to Jar Baron, presumably. Here, therefore, offer comfort. Living Jar Shard and another cracked pot. So how do you comfort Jar Baron? Jar Baron. Sweet Jar Baby. This one inaccessible. Meet save Alexander at least once. Potentate. Oh no, it's up top. Okay. Cool. It's sitting on something, but... Anything over here, or... Hmm. Sending these flowers, but these are good ways to get more Roa. You get a lot of Roa here. It's probably the best place to get Roa, but don't imagine I'll ever really need to farm it. Hmm. So what kind of rewards did you get from winning in the fight? Were there any kinds of specific poor push? Fair. Rule of cool. You, you always gotta keep a rule of cool rule of cool in mind at least a little. So then where is Jar Baron? The Jar Child. This Baron is basically just an archaic old English way to say kid. Which is why they use it for the Omen Baron, the Regal Omen Baron. Those names. Hmm, so what all is over here? And okay, there's more stuff down over this way, but that could be a dungeon or some catacombs that I could only access through here. Hmm. This is. This is Jarberg, yeah. Let's get inside this house. This jar house. And I... No, but where is he? Where is he? I... I'll find my way in. Hmm. Of course, I do want to check. I'll be down here, but we got a lot more... Many more cracked pots. We have 12 of them now. That's nice. It's for a bit of crafting. We got some more runes from this. Gravesite, some good old fashioned desecration. And, alright. Golden Rune 6, Golden Rune 1, and. Anything else over here? It does not seem like it. Presumably, maybe the flesh of. These corpses were used to produce the jars? Maybe. It's possible. What else is over this way? Just gotta figure out where to- Oh, he's right here. Okay. There we have it. We have our boy. Hmm. The only one we can even talk to, though. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? Oh, okay. Septus Jars. Septus Jar? Ah. The Potentate. Gosh. Wonderful it's news. Not easy. Silent. Show me your hands. Right tough. stuff. Too rough. Hmm. Isn't so smooth, sick, slidey. Don't got what it takes. Probably make of the jars. Go on, still chat. Visit me when you can. Two great swords. Oh, so they were both great sword wielders. That's nice. So what kind of special effects that they have? Okay, visit when you can. But Jar Baron's quest line. Jar Baron. Jarberg. He's in at least one stalling is exhausted. Talk about poachers. There's a Diallos. 
Stronger Potentate, Dawn's Arena, Alexander's Dog, After, hmm, Diallos, Sutton Volcano Manor, Dawn's Defeat, Diallos, Alexander not been attacked, Structure for Dawn, but you need Diallos, Alexander's Innards, and then Warrior Jar, Pinion Jar Talisman, Hustle's Petal Whip, Receiving Canyon Jar, Rykard, Alexander's quest, never attacking, goes on his journey. Won't obtain Dialysis equipment, but it won't finish Dialysis quest line. Jar Baron is right over there, which also just gives us his name. So my grace is over that way. Kind of on that hill, but right by the- Oh, there was something on top, which means... Oh, the only way to do that is by jumping down from that gravestone, so I think, actually, I think if I jump up and still get it this way. Okay, cool. This is, what is this? Oh my, okay. Mess that off. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get. No, there, oh, a lot of those smithing stones, that's nice. So I could make my great epic a good deal stronger now. Maybe I'll do that. There is still a bit of a lag, so I am kind of worried. I think I might need to buy a fan, which helps circulate air, but it might also just be a memory issue. Happy came back, good tidings, very fraught with scrolling, pick some of them. Very welcome. Might be of some use. Okay. Really does raise the question of why specifically they grow here. Hmm. But it is interesting because the tree is low specifically, and the sunflowers could be used in pots, but the others don't think. I don't think there's any pot that uses Roa. Alexander will have to be a champion. Help the champions be trot alone. Roa, this vote, teach you how to fight. Tough and strong. Coming back again, past a different country, being a warrior, Rojar as well, just like him, we vote to become a champion. Okay, cool. Well, that eventually, he'll talk about poachers, progress a bit of his dialogue. Mm. Okay. Go over, get that going. Oh, and sleepy. Look, Warrior Jar 2, Dreaming Jar. Mm -hmm. So if we reload it, Lion's Rage, plus swap to a melee attack and a flame attack. So basically it has Flame of the Red Mains. That's fine. So he's awake again. We'll come back here again, and part of being a warrior. Sometimes you have to reload this until... I think three or so times, maybe? Mm hmm. Okay. Put this out. And. Sleeping again. Look, look, Warrior Jar 2. Try that again. Eventually, it's supposed to talk about jar poachers. Trying to get their precious innards. So. Uh huh. Try that again. Oh well. Come back here again and try this one more time. I might need to come back later to get him to talk about poachers, but maybe it's about getting him to do a sleep dialogue three times. I uh, mm -hmm. try this out. You are. Mm -hmm. Let's check again. Jar Baron. That multiple times, set of race multiple times until we get the dialogue. Wide world. Talks about poachers. Try that again, but it might be we might need to actually progress a bit of Dialysis questline first. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we can go and buy something else from Corin. Actually, what if I go and talk to Alexander over in the tunnel? That's a question. Will he mention 
the jars, or... Hmm. It's still right here. To Gale Tunnel, so it missed the part for a vessel. Great champion, destiny reason the quest ordeal. Help better myself, I'll ever grow foes. Greatest champion of all, where are my chances? So talk to him, and do you have any dialogue? 